welcome back dear friends inside this lecture we are going to discuss about styling form first we are going to create a very simple and easy form inside html for creating form you have form tag for example i want to just display the first name first name input and type can be just text and very easy you use a br to line break you can just duplicate this uh, you can see just this one is last name email this one is email and this one is password and just simply pass type for email we have just email and the type for password we have password you can just save this and refresh so we have four field first name last name email password let's just create after this uh, you can just select tag you can insert option tag inside this and you can just duplicate this you can say select a country anything you can say is just select a payment method or select a country for example some country's name and just Pakistan and you can say just USA you can say just UAE you can say just uh, maybe Japan save and refresh so from here you can just select your country USA Japan anything you can just do from here after the select tag you can just insert another PR for line break you can just add uh, another input tag here and the type you can just add here radio you can just say mail and duplicate you can just say this one free mail save and refresh so from here you can just select your male or female after that you can just insert another br one more line break and here you can just insert a text area open and close you can just find the columns for example you want 33 columns and you can just say rows you can just say 12 rows save this and refresh so like this let's just increase the amount for columns like something like 45 save this and refresh and you can just use a placeholder inside this or inside any other one so placeholder just saying here right your message here and to ask your question to ask your question to ask save this and refresh so this is called placeholder you can just write your message and finally we need a submit button here after this text area I'm just going to use a PR again just one more input tag type for this can be submit and the value for this can be you can say submit now and what can you do else now we can save this and refresh so this is just a very basic form you can just give a title if you want for this form inside this form or outside of this form no matter so let's just use this outside here just going to use a heading 3 just contact form save and refresh so you can see the title and here also you can give a title for example before this select tag here you can just use a label tag or any other heading tag I'm just writing here please select country And do not put forget to put a BR here now or refresh. So we have just a title here. Please select a country. 
So this is just a very basic form that we have just created inside HTML. We are not going to discuss about this in details. The topic is how we can just give some more style to this form. For example, if you want just uh, a bigger just uh, text field, so you can just increase the width from here by defining a class here. Class assign reputation. And so you can say just uh, if I already fill one. You can just select this class, control C, you can paste anywhere you want to apply this coding. Now select this, go to inside CSS, start field one and curly braces. So you can just define a new width for this, maybe something like 150 or you can say 200 pixel of width. Save and refresh. Now you can see I've just increased the width. Let's just do this to 250 or 260 pixel. Save and refresh. So like this you can see. Uh, let's just, uh, what can you do else? You can just say, you can just give a background color for this background color maybe something like uh, gray color gray save and refresh so you can see this the background color and text color and text color maybe it is just white save and refresh now if you are writing here the text color will be all right so we can just define the font size we have a class for the font properties just incoming classes font size just 25 px and you can just say here one more properties you can just say pairing from the left maybe something like 12 pixel save and refresh now we can see uh, 12 pixel is just very big let's just try 5 pixel save and refresh now you can just write your text here for example the first name abdul wahid just your email gmail.com your password just wahid123 select your country or any other country just Mail, write your message. Hi, nice tutorial. And finally, you can just click submit. So, this is uh, not just a good style, but you can apply, uh, you can just give style like this. You can just define a class here inside any field. For example, you can just, uh, if you want to increase the size of this radio button, so you can just apply a class here very easily class so you can say just radio you can copy this class control c and paste in the inside the second one also female field now copy this control c go to your css dot radio you can just say the width can be something like uh, 20px and the height also 20px save this and refresh now you can see this just totally increased so like this you can just give some uh, font style for this heading directly you can just select this heading 3 you can say the text color can be blue and the text dash decoration underline the font size font size can be something like the 3 px now you can save and refresh so you can see like this you can apply but this background color is not looking good i'm just going to remove all this and this pairing also and background color and you can save this and refresh So like this you can just create a form inside html and you can give background color you can just change the text color any anything you want you can just do for example you want to just change this text color so you have just two way you 
you can just uh, insert a spin tag here I'm just doing just for the first one first name so inside spin tag you can just use the CSS style tag inline you can save the text color uh, maybe just right color save this and refresh so you can see the you can see that the font dash size maybe 20 px or you can say something like bigger than this or smaller 19 px you can save and refresh now you can see that i have just increased this one so the video is going to be very lengthy that's why i'm going to stop the video here so this is not very important because inside coming classes you will discuss about these things uh, just in details so i hope you you are understand how you can apply some basic style on the form so as i told you as i told you always you need to just watch the video and practice if you want to learn if you really want to learn css like a professional or just in a better way you need to practice this is just the only way there is no other way so wish you uh, just uh, best and best and best have a nice time and see you